So is this the perfect heater from the Aquarium Co-op? Let's talk about it in today's video. One of the things I hate about conventional heaters is that these, these top little knobs like you have on this aqua top here are, are just very imprecise and sloppy. You know, you get in there, you're trying to turn it, you can't really turn it, it's a little stuck. The numbers on the top are un unreadable. So basically what you're doing is you're, you're, you're turning it until the light turns on and then you know it's heating. And then you go and you look at your thermometer in the aquarium and, uh, and come back and check it from time to time to make sure that you really, really set it at the level that, that you want it to be at. And it's, it's really just kind of a balancing act, a hit and miss. And, uh, and the heater, of course, is, is, is a bit bulky. This one is not that bad. Uh, for water changes, you, if you don't want to risk having it blow out on you because your water level gets too low because it doesn't have technology that'll turn it off. You have to lay it, you have to lay it sideways low in the aquarium or be absolutely sure you unplug, unplug it uh, before you do your water change if you're gonna have it up high in the corner or something and then make sure you plug it back in when you're done with your water change. With this heater, you're gonna get a, a real nice bright readout. There's gonna be no guesswork no guesswork about what temperature your tank is at, and no guesswork as to whether or not the, the uh, heater is on or off. And because it comes in a very compact, this is like you know, smaller than my, much smaller than my hand, a compact model, uh, it, you, can, you, you can put it pretty low in the aquarium and you're not gonna really uh, have any problems with water changes. You can even put it sideways. It's okay to use sideways. Now. That being said, it does have technology built into it that will turn it off in the event of a water level that gets too low. So uh, that's a good thing. Hopefully you don't have to necessarily use that. This model, despite its small size, is 100 watts. So uh, that's a pretty strong unit for being this small. Let's go ahead and install one and I will show you some of the features that I that I really like about it. I, I, I need to match an aquarium that I'm currently using as a holding tank. I need to match the temperature in that aquarium to the other tanks so I can very easily move fish around and not worry about, about temperatures. Uh, this, this does come with a one-year warranty, so if you have any problems, you can call the aquarium co-op and they'll, they'll, they'll help you out and it has, a, uh, it has a setting in it that after two years of use, it's a certain number of hours, I forget how many hours, 17,000, I forget how many hours of use, it will actually uh, change its color, its display color, uh, from red, I believe, to a yellow or orange, and, and that will uh, tell you that, that it's, it's a good idea to consider swapping out your heaters because it's actually it's actually run its normal uh, light lifespan, so, um, <clears throat> which is just a precaution. I mean, you could probably still continue using it, especially if you had it on a controller without really any worries, but uh, that is just something that, that is built into it because uh, just based, based on the research done by the aquarium co-op, the, the lifespan the, uh, of a reliable, you know, the re reliable lifespan of a heater is roughly about two years of use. A any piece of, of you know, man-made equipment can malfunction. So uh, plugging, it, plugging, it, plugging it into a controller is still a good idea, something that will shut off the power in the event that you reach the desired temperature. I love the heavy-duty cord. It's, it's 11 feet of cord. 11 feet of cord. So you get way more cord than you could uh, possibly use. I, I haven't had any problem with the suction cups. The suction cups uh, are very effective. They work uh, very well. And you do get a spare set if they become a little bit deformed over time or for some reason rip or whatever. You do get a spare set of suction cups with the unit. So uh, let's go ahead 
and and fire one up and I'll, I'll show you why why I'm really enjoying these these heaters from the aquarium co-op this is a small top fin five gallon aquarium I've been keeping this little uh, liar tail molly in here and just to kind of keep the aquarium alive and uh, also I want to clear up a little bit of uh, white that was appearing on his tail he's been all better now for I don't know maybe two or three weeks he's ready to go back into the uh, aquarium with the live bears I was hesitant to move him there immediately because there were some uh, some fry in there and I thought for sure because he's a bigger fish he would probably eat them but I think I'm gonna go ahead and put them back but the temperature in this small tank is uh, is running at about 74 75 degrees that um, that little top fin heater that you see in the back corner there that heater really isn't isn't able to keep up with the uh, temperature here in the garage it's a little top fin and it was supposed to be okay for 10 gallons but uh, this is a five gallon and it's not really doing much I unplugged it about 15 minutes ago which is recommended when you're going to remove uh, when you're going to remove a heater from an aquarium unplug it let it sit for about 15 20 minutes before you pull it out that way it's uh, it's less likely to have a, a an adverse reaction to the rapid change in temperature same thing would go with putting a new heater in you put it in and then you let the heater acclimate for 15 20 minutes and and then go ahead and plug it in this is an aquarium co-op 50 watt and I'm going to demonstrate to you how how easy these are to work with and in the cord in the cord here you, you do have this this here which allows you to set it's a very easy easy temperature set function which I will show you in just a second here so let's go ahead and get and get this in the aquarium and I'll show you how uh, how fast and easy it is to set up and uh, it should heat this tank up to the desired temperature in in really in no time at all so that aquarium co-op uh, 50 watt heater has been sitting in there for a little bit of uh, a little bit of time about 15 15 20 minutes so I think it's pretty I think it's pretty acclimated now let's go ahead and and plug it in I've got a, a strip behind the tank that I will plug it into okay so I've plugged it in and it's giving me an initial indication that the aquarium is at 74 degrees and that's different from the 78 or 79 degrees that I keep the other aquariums and the aquarium I want to transfer this fish to is currently reading 78 so let's go ahead and uh, use this easy set function that's built into the cord now what I love about this heater is it, it just tells you 74 degrees nice and bright and big so you don't have to be guessing or trying to turn the light on on the aquarium or uh, rather the light instead of uh, messing with the uh, with a setting on the on the heater you know turning turning a, a, a very unprecise knob on the top of the uh, of the heater and then comparing that to the thermometer in your aquarium etc I mean it, it's you don't have to do that uh, the reed is just nice big and bright and then if you want to go ahead and and set the temperature higher in my case I'll set it to 79 so we'll get it up there right away and then you just stop pushing the button leave it alone it'll now warm this tank up to to 79 78 degrees and when it's working the bright light on top uh, tells you it's working and so there's no guesswork as to whether or not your your heater is on or off as you can see there you can take it up to into the 90s I would not imagine when you'd want to do that but that's how high it goes 91 92 then it resets down to 64 so right now the heater is set at 64 and you can see the red light is off so it's not trying to heat of course the aquarium when your desired temperature is lower than the aquarium temperature well let's go ahead and set it up to the to the target of 79 
There we go. Flashes a few times, you just take your finger off the button and it goes ahead and records that. Now, should the water level get uh, below a certain point on the heater, it will sense that the water level is too low. It has that technology built into it and it'll turn itself off as opposed to blowing up. So that's, that's a good thing because some folks will get into a water change and forget to unplug their heaters. The best uh, thing to do, of course, is to have your filters and your heaters on the same power strip and then just go ahead and turn off the power strip prior to your uh, water change. So just one, one switch controls it all. Or have your heater so low in the aquarium that uh, your water changes would never reach it and so there's no risk of actually burning out your heater. Let's see how long it takes to get the aquarium up to the desired temperature. It is uh, 1017. So let's see, let's see how long it takes. So we've hit the uh, desired temperature. It's about 11, 1102. To get, get it up to the temperature that I want it to be at, and uh, it's still going to warm up a little bit more up to 79 and let's go ahead and and check the true temperature of the tank this is a uh, a taylor a taylor digital uh, thermometer taylor is used in uh, in some scientific applications so it's a very reliable thermometer gives you a pretty quick reading let's take a look at what the uh, true temp is So it's coming out at 77.2, 77.1. So we're within one degree of the readout and that is certainly acceptable. Now I can comfortably move the, um, that liar tail over here to the live bear tank, knowing that the temperatures are actually gonna be pretty close and the fish will not be shocked by just being netted out of the five gallon and then just dropped dropped into this 20 gallon uh, tall live bearer because the temperatures are going to be nearly exactly exactly matched. I'll let them go ahead and get comfortable at the new temperature and then I'll go ahead and move them over to the 20 gallon tall. I think it'll be a lot happier in there and hopefully he's not gonna eat the little fry that are in there, fingers crossed. So there you have it. What do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I, I'm, I'm excited about this heater. Uh, I love the compact, the, po the compactness of it and uh, the easy to read display. Uh, it takes a lot of guesswork, a lot of fumbling around. The only complaint I have about this heater is that it's not available in, in higher wattage. I'd love to see him come up with a, a 500 watt unit, a thousand watt unit for these big, for the bigger tanks. My, you know, my uh, 90, 210, 300. Uh, uh, those I have, you know, about a thousand watts running in those tanks uh, from a company called Hyger, and those are being run through heavy duty uh, Gemco controllers. So uh, uh, that for that kind of an application, you know, I, I need a bigger, more hefty. Uh, more hefty heaters and, and they also have shut off technology built into them so if the water level gets low and with the controllers you're in real good shape the uh, so uh, higher wattage heaters would be nice I'd love to see that and um, when I collab when, when, I, when I do a uh, calibration when I check with a digital thermometer I did find that the uh, that the that the co-op reading was with, within roughly about a degree of the actual digital readout uh, with my digital thermometer. And so that's good, that's good. What you're, so what you're seeing on the heater is about a degree to a degree and a half different from the, the, the true temp of, of, the, of the aquarium based on a, uh, on a, on a very reliable uh, digital thermometer that I have. Uh, 
one to two degrees, that's pretty normal. The Heigers tend to run about two degrees. They can be two degrees off. Their readout is 80 degrees. Uh, then when you do a digital thermometer reading, the, the aquarium reads out at 78. So that's, that's not uncommon uh, for, for heaters. So that, that's fine. The, um, you know, that's, the calibration of it is fine. The, the 11 foot extension, heavy duty extension cord is awesome. The easy to control uh, switch on the extension cord is as well awesome. And the easy readout as to what the, uh, the temp is in the aquarium, you're setting your temp and uh, whether, you, whether the heater is working or not. For me, that's a game changer. It takes all the guesswork out of using a heater. So uh, good job, Corey, Zenzo, Candy, the whole team over there at the Aquarium Co-op. Good job on this heater, and uh, I'm I'm putting it in all of my in all of my tanks, uh, 55 gallons or less. I'm going to be converting over to the Aquarium Co-op heaters. Uh, I'll put a link below, and you can check them out yourself over at the Aquarium Co-op. But I give this heater a, um, a nine out of ten. And the only reason it doesn't get a 10 is because nobody gets a 10, but uh, also because I'd like to see, uh, you know, 500 watt, you know, seven, you know, 800 watt, uh, you know, bigger, bigger heaters. And so, uh, but nine is probably about as high as I give. So there you have it. I'll see you on Saturday at the Cichlids and Coffee live stream at 11 a.m. Central. Great group of fish keepers talking about all kinds of stuff in fish keeping. And if you'd like to support the channel, give the video a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, consider becoming a member of the Garage Gang, a Patreon monthly supporter. Starts for as little as $3 a month. Details and link are in the description. Thank you, my friends. See you again soon. Bye-bye.